Welcome to Bitcoin Stuff. This video is called uh, Cult Member Conversations on Twitter. And it is about how to uh, identify and uh, respond to cult members. And these are just uh, conversations that I saw recently. And, uh, well, I hope you enjoy my analysis of them. So we begin with a conversation between Safe Dean Amos and uh, Paul Stork. And Safe Dean spends the, the entire conversation talking about how, uh, uh, who, who is taken seriously without understanding anything that Paul says. Here he is saying, uh, a a after um, uh, important uh, people, formerly important people in Bitcoin had their reputations destroyed by their, uh, their evil behavior, uh, which I am now going to, to associate with you in some, uh, some unverifiable way. Uh, now they, they are not taken seriously anymore, and, and neither are you. And, uh, of course, to, to a cult member, uh, your reputation is everything. So, um, and if you are a big, important cult member, you, you can have your, your reputation destroyed at any time. And, uh, then, uh... Uh, Paul basically said uh, that none of those things have any any logical connection to uh, what I'm talking about, and uh, nobody should take you seriously, uh, irrespective of whether they do, uh, based on your uh, reasoning ability. And uh, Safe Dean uh, doesn't seem to... <laughs> oh my god, you guys. You, he, he he takes what what Paul says here, and he, he calls it he calls it trash talk. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> so so Paul is saying um, the those two things that you're talking about are not logically connected, and Safe Dean says that is trash talk. So, uh, Safe Dean is quite a cult member, and he says <laughs> he, he, has, he has never profited from a scam, which helps me get taken seriously. So, uh, his, his reputation is pure, uh, so uh, he... <laughs> oh my god, it is it is like a cartoon character. I mean, oh my god. So so um <laughs> his his reputation is is very pure and therefore people take him seriously, not Paul. Uh and um someone who who talks about <laughs> Whether whether two things are logically connected, <laughs> that is trash talk. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, sorry guys. Um. <laughs> Uh, anyway, um, so, uh, so, so, uh, Safety is accusing Paul of working for a company called Block, which is apparently an evil company, uh, according to him, a, a company that, uh, is not taken seriously, uh, and, um, Paul says, uh, as far as I know, you also work for Block. <laughs> and and Safe Dean uh, once again uh completely failing to understand the the logical point that is being made here <laughs> Act, acts as if as if Paul's statement is an attack on his reputation and he basically says how dare you sir how dare you suggest that I would work for an evil company. I would never work for an evil company like Block. And then he says, 
Oh my god. <laughs> then he says, says, I've also had enough of your sophistry. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> anything, anything that sounds too much like, like a logical argument to him, he calls sophistry. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh my god. Um, anyway, um, so, uh, Paul is, is saying here that if, if he was attacking Bitcoin, uh, he might want to, uh, hide his connections to the evil companies, you see? So, uh, so, so revealing such a connection does not make a person any more suspicious than anyone who has not revealed such a connection. So, uh, and, and Safe Dean uh, fails to um, fails to grasp this, a and so Paul is saying, perhaps you have a hidden connection that we don't know about, Safe Dean, uh, and 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 Safe Dean does does not uh does not get that this kind of like destroys the whole concept of trying to uh control people based on their financial connections right so then um this other cult member jumped in called vortex and uh he says um and, and so so he basically uses a, a a carrot and stick tactic here so he says you are uh, incredibly intelligent, and uh, your work is is very, very appreciated. Um, however, I do look forward to the day where you get your paycheck from somewhere other than Block Inc. That looks so bad. That that makes you look like your your reputation might be in trouble there uh, your, with your your connection to the uh, the suspicious company there. So basically, uh, now mentioning a, another cult member who was recently uh, humiliated by the uh, the group the group punishment uh, mobs, and you always want to do the carrot first because. Uh, you you want to um you want to bring the the stick in when they're least expecting it see so you want somebody to be to be going like ah i'm intelligent and appreciated and then that's when you when you jab the stick in so then uh then uh, paul uh, made a very good response here and he said uh that is a bad way to to get a reputation uh you know changing changing my sources of income uh in order to get a reputation is uh not something that a rational person would do um and uh let's see he says he wants to uh smoke out the ad hominers and see them clearly which um that that is the kind of thing that a a a cult member would not realize was directed at them so uh, that's a good thing to say. So then I chimed in here to Vortex, and um, I said, uh, this is a classic case of cult carrot and stick emotional control right there. This is why everyone needs to destroy their reputations immediately. So I think that this is a very good response because I am acting like I am completely like uh, distinct from from the emotions of this person. So th this person is not. I I am talking about Vortex as if he is not in the room. See, I am saying like, see, uh, let uh, let us analyze uh, his words here, and um, th this is a good example of cult mind control uh, that that you can l use to learn from. So uh, then, uh, then I say this: this is why everyone needs to destroy their reputations immediately. So I, I do kind of like a, a very quick horror scenario here for this uh, this cult member, 
because uh, first I I act like uh, I am uh, not not connected to him emotionally, and then I uh, I I cause him to imagine uh, lots of people who are disconnected from him emotionally. See, uh, so it is kind of like a like a zombie scenario. Uh, I, I do a mini zombie movie here for the cult member in my tweet, and it starts out it starts out where at first I am the zombie, and then then I give him the idea of lots of zombies, and I say everyone should destroy their reputations immediately, and, and that would be like that would be like a. Uh, a, a zombie out of control scenario uh, from the perspective of a cult member, but of course from from somebody uh, outside the cult, uh, it is obvious that you would never uh, want a, a reputation with this group because it is such a, it, it is so stupid to be in it. Now, of course, to anybody uh, who sees this who is is in the cult but who has any degree of rational thought left in them, um, the, the idea of destroying their reputation should seem very appealing uh, because they, they are sick of, they, they are sick of people um, telling them uh, You'd better uh, do this or that uh, if you want a better reputation with us, uh, uh, or, or else. A zombie, a horror scenario to to somebody who is not waking up from the cult, and it is uh, it is a a a freedom uh, invitation to to somebody who is waking up. To to which uh, Vortex replied, not 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 understanding it at all, and uh, that that is okay. Uh, you kind of have to um, I expect that it might take a few tries with these people before they get it. You know, what whatever. Like you you have to have these conversations with with the idea that um, uh, you you want other people to to look at them. So you want other people, uh, other cult members, to see these conversations, and and you want them to 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 think think their own thoughts while they're going on. So um, it is fine if if somebody doesn't get what you're talking about, and so uh, Vortex doesn't. He still tries to to manipulate me. See, he's still saying like, you know, your reputation is bad. Um, so. Uh, you know, that makes sense coming from you. You would talk about destroying your reputation given how bad it is. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> how could somebody be this stupid? Somebody who has destroyed his own reputation <laughs> is probably not <laughs> interested in uh, any more manipulation, is he? But this is kind of what it's like being being a cult member. Is it, it, it's like you you uh, it's all manipulation. And, uh, you have been trained to to forget that uh, people outside uh, are not uh, talking to each other like this all of the time. Now uh, I made another uh, really good response to this, and I said. Um, yeah, I know. I deliberately acted like a retarded lunatic in order to show that my reputation is worthless to me. So, um, so, so this is really good because it's kind of like, uh, like very clear. But it doesn't say why. Why would somebody deliberately destroy their own reputation? In the cult mindset, the reputation is extremely valuable. Okay, and uh, if when you are in the cult, you are constantly being told that your reputation is the most valuable thing that you have, and um, so it is quite a paradox to imagine that someone would just deliberately destroy his own reputation. So you you want you want the cult member to wonder about that, okay? 
I think that this is the kind of sentence that will stick in a person's mind. Giacomo Zucco chimed in over here, and uh, he said something that is like uh, like the the most uh, the most cult member thing that you you could uh, imagine. So um, so I, I mean <laughs> that is like like <sighs> how can you say this and not notice that you're a cult member? He, see, he's saying that. My my reputation, like I shouldn't destroy my reputation because my reputation is useful to him. Okay? You can't do that. You can't you can't destroy your own reputation because we need it. In fact, we're heartbroken because we love you, right? We're in a cult because so we love you. So he is and he doesn't think about like what it means for the reputation to be more useful uh, to him than it is to me. Okay, this is my reputation we're talking about here. Okay, so shouldn't my reputation be like uh, like valuable to me in some way? Like why 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 would I want a reputation if uh, he he was getting more out of it? than me. I mean, you see what I mean? Like if if your reputation is valuable to other people, all, all they can do with it is manipulate you. It that's the only way that it's valuable to them. I, anybody can destroy their reputation, right? Like that's just sort of like you know, like somebody could just get get bored and uh exhausted and just say like you know, what whatever, I am uh, I'm no longer interested in your uh your your drama, you know, and I gave him a great response here. I told him, uh, "You are free to ignore me if you think I have lost relevance." That that is kind of like um, like like something that in in the cult member mindset, uh, should should not happen. If some someone should not uh be uh be 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 indifferent. You, you always want to sort of be the person who is outside the cult and um, just treat it like, you know, like a, like a, a, a business that, um, you know, isn't selling something you need, which is like a, like, a, like a real world kind of thing, like, a, like an independent person kind of world. So here I am sort of like uh, leaving, leaving the conversation uh, kind of open-ended like uh, it is not uh, not the end of the conversation it is simply like an expression of uh, uh, of of indifference uh, but there there is no reason that he could not uh, continue talking here uh, if he uh, wanted to um, to uh, to to learn more about how I think and uh, you you always want to to um, provoke curiosity about the outside. So um, you you always want to to leave leave the impression of the outside uh, without um, uh, without uh, w without uh, a acting like you want anything out of the other person. Because if you're in the cult, everybody who, who, who interacts with you always wants something out of you. So you, you, you want to be just kind of like there uh, not wanting something from the person. Now back to the conversation with Vortex. So Vortex responded to me after I told him that I was deliberately acting like a retarded lunatic. So remember, uh, before... He he tried to manipulate me again, but uh, he kind of kind of got that it didn't wasn't working, and he says, uh, "How's that working out for you?" Like uh, I, I mean, it, I guess that could be like like a like another attempt at manipulation, like saying like, uh, "Well, how's that working out for you?" Uh, I bet it's pretty terrible not to have a good reputation, isn't it? Uh, but it's also something that is kind of can can be interpreted as a a more open-ended question so you always want to uh encourage uh in 
you know, independent uh, creative thought with the, these cult members. So uh, anything that uh, looks kind of more more like uh, just just thinking, just kind of uh, wond wondering, um, is uh, uh, what you need to um, what you need to uh, encourage. And, and, and it is best if you kind of like uh, leave them with nothing um, because you you want them to to fill that up with themselves. Uh, you want to uh, you want to uh, leave leave the person with uh, with ambiguity. So if if you are uh, you know uh, filling if, if you are uh, promoting uh, childlike wonder and then inserting your own dogma when uh when you 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 get the person to that state then then you are uh the cult leader but um what what you want to do is sort of um just just uh leave leave the person with kind of uh the most open-ended question possible uh because that is sort of like uh, something something that they they don't have in in a cult so they they will recognize this as something that uh, they haven't seen in a while and something that is interesting uh, so uh, basic strategy I think is just just be be the person from outside so just just be someone who is not connected to the cult members crazy emotions and and who 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 will just say you know kind of whatever um if if they try to uh try to get you emotional about anything and um once once they become a little bit less emotional and uh and and perhaps a little more curious then uh, you give them some uh, some open-ended questions, which may uh, stimulate their creative minds. And I hope you've uh, enjoyed this uh, discussion. Thank you for listening.